Cisco CCNP certification. How do you prepare for T shirt exam? As you're already aware, for CCNP certification, there are three classes that you need to attend, namely route, switch, and T shirt. And each class has their relevant exams uh, related to them. So there are three exams that you need to uh, pass to complete your CCNP certification. Previously, they, they used to be four classes and four exams. In the past, it had been possible uh, to have, have some advantage uh, in passing exam using exam cracks. But today, uh, Susque have made tremendous changes in the uh, CCNP exams that made it a lot more tougher to pass exams uh, if you are not attending the class or you have not put in place enough effort to pass these exams by preparing for these uh, exams. Uh, primarily, uh, uh, my recommendation if you today you want to pass this NP, any exam to the matter is to attend the authorized classes, review your lessons, do enough hands on lab practices, do a self study, then go for the exams. Exam cracks may help you s a bit, uh, but uh, to pass, you have to focus in developing the skill that taught in those classes. Primarily on T-shoot, some people believe that troubleshooting is a gifted skill uh, and um, you know, uh, in my observations, a lot of people that came from a technical background, engineering background, have done quite well in troubleshooting uh, or having the troubleshooting skills. But also I have learned over the years uh, that troubleshooting skill can be taught and each individual can develop these skills. And today for career advancements, uh, this become a differentiator uh, a value to uh, many businesses uh, that have a complex network. So differentiator is not only you have to pass the exam, but also acquiring the skills. So in fact, in, in the flip side of it, the troubleshooting exams are evaluating a person's troubleshooting skills. As such, today the uh, troubleshooting exams, Cisco troubleshooting exams, evaluates uh, using a uh, trouble ticket type of uh, in our exam questions. In the troubleshooting training, uh, we focus on methods, different scenarios that you can practice uh, in a practical lab environment, uh, primarily focusing on the Cisco routed and switched network environment. Um, the techniques like, you know, uh, I'm going to describe in a moment, uh, that uh, you can practice in our in the actual lab environment they make a difference in terms of preparing for the exam at the same time developing the necessary skills some of the few key things you got to learn in the uh, troubleshooting class is like diagnostics method so in a typical diagnosis method I would say that defining the problem is the most important in a, you know to resolve a problem first you must define the problem that takes 70% uh, you know weight and 30% I would say solving the problem. So in defining the problem, you know, first of all, uh, my weight would be, I would say that in the 50, you know, 40% uh, will be uh, gathering information, uh, you know, and, and the rest will be more on the analysis. So the analysis is, is important, but to do analysis, you must have adequate information. Then you are able to eliminate the possible causes, eliminate unnecessary, eliminate focus on the most probable causes, and then propose to solve the problem then you propose hypothesis and test those hypotheses uh, in, in, in solving the problem so in the training we are we will be teaching you different tools different commands different options where you can formulate the hypothesis and also you can execute the hypothesis by practicing those tools commands uh, in a lab environment various troubleshooting methodologies and approaches are taught in this class uh, for example, you know, uh, how do you, you know, when a problem presented, how do you slice that problem? You know, whether horizontally or vertically. Uh, vertically, I'm referring from the OSI layer perspective. How do you view the problem from a physical layer to application layer, or from application layer down to network layer to down to physical layer? And how do you view from, uh, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, uh, from component level? Each component have a control plane, data plane, management plane. Within a control plane, there are many services. Um, and then the strategy of dividing and conquer a problem in a large distributed environment uh, to track, you know, following the path of a problem can be very time consuming. 
so in a method of how do you divide and conquer or you know looking at you know what changed from yesterday or what is the difference between router a and a router b so spotting the differences and in the from a resolution side you know uh, uh, we call a move the problem you know uh, so if you if you identify the resolve or you isolate the problem then you, you, know, you may want to you know uh, change the cable uh, for example uh, that you tested with the you know working cable or change it, it you know uh, uh, you know that you think that a faulty device with a new you know working or tested working device uh, and at any time you know uh, take control of changes within your administrative domains uh, domain so these are the, some of the different techniques where you go in depth in the class the class also we talk about common problem that you typically run into an environment it could be physical problem it could be device OS and software related issues or misconfigurations depending on the maturity of an organization uh, the nature of this problem can be you know or the percentage of the problem can be varies between these three uh, you know uh, levels of problems whether physical or device or misconfigurations in some organization where maturity is pretty high they look into more preventive methods by creating a baseline and controlling the changes the class also uh, there are different technology are covered primarily on the space of switching and routing in switching we get into a lot of different details uh, we assume that you already have the foundation from the route and switch class and we get into things like in you know, a first house of route protocols like HSRP GLBP uh, on the switching side we get into the private VLAN uh, VLAN ACL port security link aggregation protocol spanning tree multiple spanning tree per VLAN spanning tree inter VLAN routing uh, issues with duplex mismatches on the routing side we you know we get into a lot of details in eagrp ospf route distribution assuming you already know have the foundation we get into the details of bgp uh, performance issues related to routers and switches like uh, you know looking into the tcam cpu load uh, performing traffic analysis uh, on the security aspect you know we talk about the network security uh, very specific ios security features like aaa radius uh, build of ipv6 uh, but uh, using variety of different uh, tools that are available in the networking systems monitoring commands with the different options and debugs so those are the different kind of uh, topics that will be covered in the five days but you can say that there are less lecture and there will be uh, you know 80 to 90 percent will be uh, more on the labs so whatever you learn whatever option you have uh, uh, learned in the commands uh, what are the technique that you have learned uh, as a methodologist uh, you are able to practice that in the lab uh, in the a uh, in a in a, a learning uh, environment that improve drastically your troubleshooting skill your understanding of network uh, i would say this is one of the best class of cisco have created uh, I would strongly recommend this so you know to pass this exam my recommendation is go for this authorized class do a self-study on the material practice the lab multiple time and be ready for the exams that's the only way uh, only chance you can pass this t-shirt at IMS we can help you by providing three hours lab access into a sophisticated lab uh, with routers and switches interconnected so that you can practice and acquire a level of confidence uh, for preparing the uh, CC, um, CCNP uh, uh, t-shirt.